All right. Well, Aaron Rollick earlier won these or won gloves. I want to say gloves are off. You won the over <laughs> under on gloves. Therefore, you get a chance to sound off. Well, I guess what I want to bring up today is uh, I'm actually going to talk about Junior B hockey. Um, position as chairman for Junior BC Council for Alberta and uh, we're lucky this year uh, in our area that Wainwright's hosting Junior B Provincials in April so uh, I'm looking forward to that uh, hopefully you know I always have a soft spot being the former president of the Northeast League so I want to see you know Wainwright do well and the champion of the Northeast do well and and I think it's a you know a nice fit for the community there a couple nice rinks uh, you know the PMM is a great arena to play in uh, April 4th to 7th uh, the group's hosting down there, so keep your eyes on the uh, Northeast site, the Wainwright site, uh, for ticket information and things. And uh, if you can get out to see some Junior B Provincials, uh, you know, Bucky, maybe your team will be there. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but, gonna uh, it's going to be a nice event. All right. Well, well said. We'll talk about Roger Gradell. Uh, doesn't really like the, at least the resolution that came out about the bounty scandal. The appeals by former Commissioner Paul Tagliabu was the arbitrator and voted against. What Goodell said in terms of the suspensions, found them a little too harsh. Did say that the Saints were responsible and their code of conduct was not appropriate, but the suspensions were lifted. Does this embarrass Goodell at all? I think it does a little bit. It just in the fact that the guy he replaced has come back and, and trumped him. Um, you know, in that aspect, he's probably a little upset that, um, you know, the former commissioner really didn't have his back, but... That said, you look at the accusations against the players. If you, you know, and I know they went. They talked about going through all the game tape. I mean, these guys weren't out head hunting. They weren't getting dirty hits. They didn't have penalties called on them. Were there bounties for sure? But I mean, they played within the rules of the game according to what Tagliabue said, and and you know they played hard. So I like that they left the suspensions for the coaching staff. But it's great to see those players get a chance to uh, earn their living again. Yeah, I, I know what it loses a lot of credibility. Uh, when you have your, the former boss, the, the man that you took over from, uh, second guess is you, and uh, it, it, your credibility kind of goes out the window. Talk about the uh, NHLPA uh, filing a disclaimer of interest. Uh, is this the best or only option the Players Association have in terms of finding a resolution? I think it's ridiculous. It's such a product of the uh, American legal system. Really, they're looking at dissolving so that they can begin lawsuits to stop the lockout. I mean, they can't sue as a union, so let's just dissolve it so that we can have 400 players file a lawsuit. Um, they should be embarrassed. I mean, if you can't sit in a room and, and sort things out over a period of time, I mean, how far apart are they? It's, it's ridiculous. I think they, they should be embarrassed. Um, you know, it's sad to say, but again, it looks like Bettman's winning. You know, like Aaron says, they're so far apart that that's what that's come to right now. For them to ever have hockey this season, they have to do this. It's embarrassing that these two sides can't get together and settle something they've been talking about since the summertime. And we're almost to the end of December, and nine times out of ten, it looks like we're going to lose hockey this season. All right, well, guys, thank you for being on the show. Aaron, I appreciate you coming by. Uh, Greg, we'll see you in a couple weeks. We're going to take a brief hiatus until January 15th for the Christmas holidays. We'd like to wish everyone out there watching a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year.